Hello, my friends. My name is Ribby Boy, and this is Green Magic Gardening, the channel where we keep it raw, real, and 100. We keep it the people's channel. That's right, my friends. So, what are we looking at today? Well, we left off last week, guys. This is day eight of flower. We left off last week at day six of flower, if you remember, and we hit them with a full dose of green rush, guys. So it's been two days. So those of you that are new, so, so, so. <laughs> those of you that are new, this is a two by four kit, guys. A two by four kit from Spider Farmer. They're my sponsor. Um, if you guys buy anything Spider Farmer, I please ask you guys, or anything I'm affiliated with, uh, Green Rush Nutrients, the nutrients that I use, I'm gonna be, well, we're using all the way through flour. Um, bud clips, which we're using, I'll show you guys in a minute, the train, the amazing training. There's so many new subscribers. And uh, Spider Farmer, guys, so Green Magic, one word. First pin comment directly below. Uh, it has everything I'm affiliated with, guys. Those of you that don't know, you could pin a comment right down below. And uh, it has my Instagram, too. Get an Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, guys. I'm on there all the time. You can get at me instantly, one-on-one, -on -one, back and forth. I can help you with your grow. You guys can help me. You know, it goes both ways. Well, I got family members that are going to be just pulling in, so I got to finish this up, guys. But we're not doing anything really today, guys. We are, um, well, first things first, for all the new people, we got a 2x4 tent, right? Powered by two Spider Farmer SF2000s, as you see. Um, it comes with one, right? comes with one, but I jammed two in. It's an old one and a new one. Exhausted by a 4-inch. There's a controller there, four inch um, inline fan to exhaust the air. And I got an Amazon fan. I got spider farmer fans coming, but I got an Amazon fan zip tied up here that blows down. And then we have four clones guys that I cut myself from, uh, well, this one is Nana's Robin Hood seeds, Nana's. Then we have a uh, platinum cake by reverse genetics. And then we have another, oh no, then we have Top G by Reverse Genetics. They're all in two gallon plastic pots. Uh, the medium is HP Pro Mix, guys. I'll try to remember to throw everything up on the screen. HP Pro Mix for the medium. And then we amended with Gaia Green 444, 284, uh, Gaia Green Worm Castings. We've been using, oh, I can't remember if we used fish shit now. I got so much on the go, I have to look back at the videos, but you can add, get yourself some fish shit if you can afford it, that really help. Silica's good too, guys. Um, I use that cow mag right there. I haven't actually used any of that cow mag in this, but I probably should have. But, uh, you know, because look at the stalks. They're pretty purple and red. Probably could use some cow mag, you know. Maybe I'll hit them, maybe I'll hit them next time. I was going to water today, but they're still, they're still... Pretty good and we're still dealing with the gnats guys we added the nematodes and all that as you guys remember still dealing with the gnats but they're actually not that bad i got lots of uh sticky traps up in here guys so we're good to go um before i sign off i want to show you guys because we're not doing any waterings or any feedings they just had their feeding right and then we'll do a watering probably tomorrow or the next day because i'm um I'm not keeping them soaked like I used to do now. It's, I'm seeming to get better results having some dry periods, guys. So, yes, I say so. <laughs> Too much, guys. I wanted to show you guys this one. Look at that. That's what the bud clips do, guys. I'm going to pop that off now. I wanted to wait to show you guys, though. Oh, my. Wow. Wow. That is so cool. And you can just keep reusing them. Look at that, guys. It's solid. And now you could put it on again and bend it right back down if you wanted. And you could keep going. Think 
of the possibilities what you could do in one tent with one plant. That's a leaf. Holy moly. But look at them, guys. Healthy as can be beautiful specimens. Look at that training for any of you guys that are just tuning in. I used the bud clips. I took them all off. Look at there. Look at that. That is absolutely cool. That is some freaking cool stuff, man. Anyways, guys, I got lots to do. I got family here, too. Day eight of flower. I'll see you guys for the next watering. Well, here we are the next day at day eight, my friends. Or day nine of flower. What am I talking about? So, yes, gnats, of course. We give them that feed. Gnats, gnats, gnats. Oh, but we'll just keep watering it and see if these nematodes start to kick in. We got to give them a chance to work. But other than that, guys, these things are doing absolutely phenomenal. I moved the light up to, uh, well, ah, I measured it, but let me, I forget now. It is around 24 inches from the canopy now, guys. Oh, I want to show you guys something cool too. So I've been trying to figure out like, why would they do that? Like, what is the reasoning? And you know what? I think I figured it out. Check this out. Now, you come back here to the back of the tent. Now look how easy you can, oh, I'm dropping things, guys. Look how easy you can just go like this. Bam. And it clips on. It can clip on here, it really easy. Do you guys think that's what it was meant for? Like, I'm, try I'm trying to figure out. Like, there is a little clip back there that it can go into too, but. It just clips on there anywhere real easy. I'm doing it with this one too. Like it's it's great. I actually like that little feature of it. But anyways, so we're 24 inches, guys. I moved them up because like they were pretty freaking close. And uh, I would rather more spread. So you know we get make sure we get a full coverage. So uh, um man, oh my god, I know I say so too much, guys. I'm working on it, I'm working on it. So, I'm turn them up to 80% intensity. We're gonna leave them there until they're done their stretch, right? Because we're at day nine. When they're done their stretch around three weeks, we'll do a nice defoliation. We'll do some lolly popping, right? Get rid of some of these big leaves and stuff. And we'll be good to go. Then we'll probably crank her to 100%, guys, and uh, see what the heck happens. And hopefully we don't get seeds in these ones from stress, too. But uh, we'll see. All I know is that these are transitioning faster than I've ever seen any plants, guys. Like, nine days. How are they got already stacking buds on them? I was telling somebody that the other day. I'm like, plants seem to finish really fast in my... In my um, they seem to finish faster in my conditions for some reason. It's weird. It's weird. Like, I've noticed that. Like, I swear, some of these girls I could pull down after six weeks and they'd be, like, almost done. It's weird. But look at that. They're really starting to flower super, super quick. They need water. We're going to give them a liter each today. Right, Ginge? Yeah? Yeah. He says, yeah. All right. Let's do it. What? 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 What are you doing, Ginge? What? 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 <laughs> what a guy, eh? Oh, I got this little DSLR, like, handle thing on my phone now, guys. So it'll be, like, a lot more stable, it should be. Check this out. That's with the light on. Let me put on. It comes with a light on it too. Watch this. Boom. You see that extra light? And then boom. 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 Nice and bright. It's nice and bright, kitty cat. This has been stabled since last night at 6.2, guys. Just normal water. We're going to give it nothing else. Oxygenated. I'll move this stuff over. 
just ordered a cleaning kit for this too some cleaning stuff and proper uh um proper calibration uh solution the p uh blue lab stuff so then we can make sure that it's perfect but yes we're gonna give each one a liter today guys Man, it is so nice in here too, guys. I, I do, I keep it, like, I know people think, oh, he's got bugs, he must be a dirt bag. Like, I, people that don't know that much think that. Oh no, no, that's dirty. You having a cat's ass or you my freaking coffee, man. Really? Really? Freaking audacity of you, man. But it is immaculate in here, guys. Like, it is so freaking clean in this room. I keep it so clean, I sweep, I clean. I use those uh, those cleaning things, these right here, guys, and I'm constantly cleaning the floors. Uh, as you see, constantly using this. Get yourself one of these too, guys. Yes, yeah, so a couple little tricks. Get yourself an old paintbrush. It doesn't have to be an old paintbrush. Just get yourself a paintbrush. It helps for sweeping hairs and in between the lights and fans, getting your dust out of your fans. So um, a paintbrush will really help, and one of these because then you can go along like this <laughs> but on top of your tents and stuff right where all the hairs go you can get it all and your vents right so what i'll do is you see all the hairs that get stuck on there like i said i'm only here to help guys i'm just trying to help it's all i want to do i've lived such a insane life man that i just want to leave a, a good healthy positive mark on the world and i just want to make people's lives easier so that's why i'm making videos on a freaking clean a tent man like yes and then i'm constantly cleaning with this because you want to keep you just want to keep everything really clean guys liter of water ph 6.2 well there you have it guys these ones feel a little bit heavier makes sense they're a little smaller so they're not drinking quite as much probably should have gave them ones a little bit extra but you know what that's that's okay and uh lights 80 80 percent and our fan going up here everything is good life is good at day nine of flower and day 12 of flower is here guys look at these girls they are doing absolutely wonderful they are stacking up absolutely amazing guys i have the lights turned down we're keeping the lights at 80 percent it's right around 22 inches from tops still i've never seen plants stack up so quick in 12 days guys that is crazy this is looking a tad tad light when i look at this right i hit them with a half a liter of water yesterday and i was just gonna wait till today guys but Okay, you guys remember, the uh, gnats are, were absolutely out of control in here. Like, I mean bad. And I don't want these seeding out like these ones did, because they're clones from, lo from that, right? They're clones from those ones, from the 4x4. Four four. So, comment after comment after comment. Nematodes, nematodes, nematodes. So, I went and got the toads, filled the garden with the toads, and now... I wanted to keep it wet, right? Just to make sure that they're uh, they're activating or doing whatever they do. They turn into little grubs like worms and they just start eating all the bad stuff in there. So it was out of control, guys. And it's been a few days. I put this down the new side. And it, these went from being covered to, well, look at They seem to be, it's helping. It's definitely helping. I know it's going to take a little bit of time, but uh, I'm seeing a huge freaking improvement guys that's for sure so we gave it the full dose of green rush right then i gave it the half a liter of water we're going to give it a full liter of water today and then when they need their next water we're going to mix up another full dose of green rush and we're going to hit them again with it so i've been stripping off the bottom leaves guys these huge freaking leaves you can get rid of any well, you know what, in th when it, another week or so, we're going to go through, we're going to get rid of any stuff like that. All this little stuff under here, guys. It's 
It's not going to do absolutely anything. There's a lot we can get rid of. We'll lollipop them up a bit. And we'll start removing anything that's blocking bud sites you can get rid of. That's looking a tad little yellow, like I said. I'd like to see it a little greener. But uh, we'll up the dose on the next on the next one, guys. It was a little bit under, to be honest. So we'll go a little stronger. Other than that, well, look at that. Isn't that that's weird? You can tell that it needed more, right? Let's look at the purple. It goes, and then it starts subsiding as it goes up. I've seen Nana's when it has 100% of what it needs. And it will not have any purpling like that in it, guys. And the only time I've ever seen it do that is with Green Rush nutrients. I shit you guys not. So look at the training, though. To all you new guys, I got to show you the training. Now, I notice with clones, they grow so much faster, so much stockier. Look at that. All with the bud clips, guys. Look at the hat one. Oh, my absolutely love the bud clips so anyways i got a liter of water piece 6.1 she's stable bubbled with the paw fly let's see i get it well the magic corner oh look at that we're bubbled up to 6.3 now you know what make sure that stays wet move these we'll be okay we'll be okay there now let's get a liter Well, guys, there you have it. That's, as you see, I gave these two a little bit less. They're holding a little onto a lot more. This one holding onto the most, being the smallest plant. And uh, these ones eating the most, being the biggest plant. But there you have it, guys, for day 12 of flower. I will come back tomorrow. Well, hello, gardeners. We have arrived at day 13 of flower. Have you ever seen such nice stacking, stack a lacking with 13 days of flower? I know I haven't. That is absolutely crazy. Um, I'm hoping that these aren't stressed out to the point that they get seeds, like I was saying, guys, like these ones did. Look at this. That's pretty neat. It literally lost all chlorophyll and like just, it looks like somebody sprayed bleach on it or something. It's pretty, uh, pretty interesting, guys. But you know what? I know it looks like there's a lot of gnats at that from the old ones, guys. I'm telling you, look at. There was mad now. I used to have to cover my face, guys. I'm breathing them in. These nematodes, the toads, the toads are definitely eating the uh, gnats, guys. That's wild. So, um, thank you, guys. There was a bunch of you guys. One guy, I know you'll comment, probably. You kept telling me. And, um, yeah, I've used them in the past, guys. I used them in the past. I think it was for thrips, though, not for gnats. I didn't, I didn't use them for gnats. And it didn't seem to do anything for the thrips. But uh, these are, it's working. It's definitely working, guys. So, yeah. And um, other tents that had it, they don't seem to be there anymore either. So, interesting, interesting stuff. So, yeah, really, we're not doing anything today. I just wanted to check in, show you guys what we're looking like at day 13. I got a little um, thing that turns my phone into a DSLR now. Like, it's got a wicked grip on it, guys, and an extra light. So I can get, like, the smoother shots now. And I'm going to get uh, I'm gonna get a few other things, man. I put a lot of work into this video, guys. I know it don't seem like it, but I put a lot of work into this. Um, and keeping it as raw as I possibly could because, you know, who wants all this heavily edited crap anyways, man? We keep it raw, real 100 Keep it the freaking people's channel. I'm telling you, it's going to be the saying of the century, guys. I'm going to get shirts with that made on it. I'm going to get stickers. Freaking right, man. Yes, and the lives will be Saturday, guys. I'll be doing a live this Saturday. Um, 
Not sure the time exactly. Just be around on Saturday. And I'm going to try to start doing them every Saturday, guys, because you guys seem to like them. So, why not? So, that's going to be it for today, guys. Well, um, we'll be doing the giveaway on Saturday, like always. Drop a comment, drop a like. I love talking to you guys, man. And I will see you guys below. And holy crap, there's a lot of new people, man. A lot of new people. Thank you, guys. Signing off.